I'm on duty. Make it quick. Yeah, he's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Chief Harkness meets with Dr. Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm gonna do anything. Yeah, see it. I should get back. Welcome to Flak and Shrapnel's best goddamn weapons anywhere. This here is Flak and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Here, in Rivet City? I'm packing, and most of the rest of these guys are packing. Not to mention security. Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions down on the lower deck. No problem at all. Need to do some killing, eh? Give me a shout if you need anything else. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. That's secure for a reason. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. Is there a problem? Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Carry on, then. Welcome to Potomac Attire. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. I'll see what I can do. Straight to the point, I like that. Pleasure doing business with you. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room... Well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Come back soon. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Howdy, I'm Seagrave, Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here.
A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. I've got a little bit of everything. A pleasure doing business with you. See you later. See you eyeing it. It's time for our Hey, take a look around. I got all kinds of stuff in here. I've got a little bit of everything. If you had read that letter, you'd know I'm no slaver. And you know I'm not dealing with them. But if that letter gets out, they won't trust me. I'll never get a seat on the council, and Bannon will make me pay for trying to replace him. If you care about Rivet City half as much as I do, tell Danvers that Bannon is blackmailing me. But don't show her the letter. See you later. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I think I've seen you in here before. When you're ready to buy, just let me know. Really? I... I mean, I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Tell Danvers about that letter right away. That will squash any hope he has of replacing me on the council. Don't tell her I asked you to find it, though. That would backfire in a nasty way. Come back soon.
Hello. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. I'm his second in command. I run the night shift, and he runs the day shift. Is this conversation going somewhere? Because I've got things to do. The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Oh yeah, he's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. This is bad. Seagrave Holmes was angling for a seat on the council. He can forget about that now. Once the market vendors get wind of his past, they'll never trust him. Too bad. Duty calls. I heard that Danvers found a letter from Slavers in Seagrave's room. That will teach that bastard to mess with me. I think you've earned a permanent discount here. For you, I always offer my best price. Come back soon. You sneak into my room, steal my property, and then tell the world about it. I'd ban you from my shop if they'd let me. Instead, I'll just have to settle for ripping you off. After what you did? Only because I have to. See you later. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. We've got all kinds of chems. 